guys, Aaron from Phone Dog again. A visit to Nokia wouldn't be complete without the E72, of course, the successor to the E71. We're going to talk with Joe about that one as well. Okay, so this is the Nokia E72. You'll see it's got a full QWERTY keyboard, similar to our E71 and E71X. Uh, this is the successor. So you've got a full QWERTY keyboard. You actually have some new hotkeys at the bottom, including the Bluetooth button and a flashlight button. Uh, you've got, on the back, it's still stainless steel, a 5 megapixel camera. This is new to the E-Series. Uh, E71 and E71X had a 3.2. This is 5 megapixel with flash. Phenomenal camera ability. You've also, another major difference is a 3.5 millimeter jack. Uh, the other one, the E71 and E71X had a 2.5. We've upped it to 3.5 and actually shifted it from the side to the top. So you can slide it into a shirt pocket, have your headphone jack sticking out, and you're all set. You've got your memory card slot and your USB card, your USB slot there, uh, your charger slot, and then your volume and, and mute buttons. Uh, you also have these shortcuts on the front, similar to the E71, where you have home, calendar, contacts, and email, or messaging, depending on what you want to set it to. Um, and as I said, a full QWERTY keyboard. So what's new to the E72, other than what I've already mentioned, um, is the optical navi pad. Uh, used to just have the four-way D-pad where you could actually scroll up, down, left, right just by touching the sides. This is actually optical where you can actually touch the middle button and it'll, it'll act as if you're using an optical mouse basically. Go in the direction and then you just press it when you want to go into something. Um, the operating system, it does run S60 third edition feature pack 2 similar to our Nokia N85 and Nokia N79. Uh, it is slightly optimized for E-Series because of the differences. You do have your mail for exchange as well as Nokia messaging on here. So Nokia messaging is our messaging solution that helps POP and IMAP pretty much become push for the consumer. Um, this is a Yahoo account that you know you have different emails in so you want to scroll down and again I'm using the optical navi pad versus the d-pad. And then uh, let's go into jcrew. And you can actually view the HTML message. It'll, it'll pull down the images, so you don't have to view it. You can view it in just text, and it's just fine. Or if you want to see HTML, there we go. You can actually see the full the full email. Look at that. You've got a, some sort of sale going on. Um, so you go back, and it just drops the HTML and goes into the, the text version. Uh, something new, something else with the S60 3.2 is the transitions. So let's go into the menu and you'll see it just pops up. It, it's really vibrant. Uh, let's go into contacts and it slides down, slides right in from the top. You go back and it's seamless. It goes right in from the bottom. Um, like we said, it's got a 5 megapixel camera on here. So let's see what kind of pictures came up. Pretty good camera quality for a, for what's considered a business smartphone. Um, mentioned the shortcut keys. We hit the contacts button. It goes right into your contacts. The envelope will go right into Nokia messaging, which you can set up with your most popular uh, ISPs for email: Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, Mail for Exchange. As we said, is on here. That's Mail for Exchange and Lotus Notes. It's compatible with. Um, you name it. And this, you know, S60 is the most mature operating platform. It's got a, thousands of applications on here. You want to multitask, hold down the home button, and you have everything that's open right now. So I don't even know what this one is. And you, oh, you have Ringo on here. Um, we'll go back to the home screen. And that's really it. I mean, it's, it keeps with the thinness of the E71 uh, with some new added features like the 5 megapixel camera and the optical navi pad. And it looks like they picked up on the uh, E63's design a little bit, on the sides at least. Yep, to some degree we added a little bit in terms of the plastic, uh, the matte finish, you know, but it still it slopes up a little bit. You've got stainless steel um, for the most part. And if you want to look at the battery, let's see if I can do this without turning it off. You've got your standard Nokia battery, BPO4L, which is the same as the E71 and the N97 that gives phenomenal battery life. It is.